As a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and ongoing lockdowns, Australia is experiencing, experiencing a mental health pandemic. Almost 4,000 calls were made to Lifeline last Monday, wow. which saw the support service record its busiest day ever. Yeah, helping others during these dark times is mental health and resilience expert Graeme Cowan, who personally has gone through a five-year episode of depression. And Graeme joins us live now to share his incredible story. Uh, Graham, welcome to the show. Uh, mate, you've battled with depression and attempted suicide four times. What did your life look like during these dark times, mate? Well, I think the big thing is we just lose hope. I lost hope. You know, it was every day just feeling like there was, like I would ever get over it. It was quite extraordinary. And uh, when you lose hope, you know, that's when you really think about drastic action. And it's, it's quite bizarre because you think that you're a, um, a liability to your loved ones. Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, that's just crazy. But that's how you feel. You feel that uh, you're just a burden to them. Well, it's such a shame to hear. Congratulations on, on transforming your life. Um, what was the turning point for you? Uh, well, I remember being in the kitchen at Foster with my mother, and it was about two weeks after a, a suicide attempt, and I was just thinking, why me, why me, why me? And uh, my mother just sort of fixed me with this stare and uh, really said, one day I think you use this experience to help other people. And it seemed crazy at the time, but um, it really was the path out, was thinking about how can I help others? And that led to me writing books called Back From The Brink and speaking to people and really championing self-care, uh, crew care, which is the people around you, and red zone care, which is you know looking at those that are struggling and asking, are you okay with empathy? And we really need to pull together at this time. And it, it really is this, uh, the concept of we, I think is so powerful when we're really struggling ourselves. Great message, that's yeah. super important. Now, mate, we're living in a nightmare at the moment, especially in regards to mental health. Now, during the pandemic, what do you notice are the biggest factors at play? The biggest thing, and I've been researching this a lot with the uh, webinars I do, the, the most stressful thing is uncertainty, not knowing what to do or how long it's going to last. And the thing that I really emphasise to people is to focus on the things you can control and to really think about, you know, having a walk each day, getting outside in, in the sun and the vitamin D, uh, calling a friend while you're out there, but also trying to be really, really present on the walk, you know, to notice the, uh, you know, the flowers and the trees and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, having that physical exercise, connecting with a loved one, and just being really present can make a huge difference. And, uh, you know, that's what I really recommend in the way of self-care. Yeah, I think it's really important. And just touching on what you said there, the mothers seem to always know the right thing to yeah, say, don't right. they? But, but again, it, re it really is a value of a person to, to, to be able to, um, amongst your own darkness, to kind of reach out and try and help somebody else. Um, what, what, what would you say was, the, was maybe the simplest piece of, a piece of advice that you needed while you were experiencing your dark moment? Like, how, how could someone reach out to somebody else? Well, it, it, it is really putting yourself in their shoes and uh, just saying, look, I notice you're not yourself at the moment. You know, can we get together and have a, a walk? Or if you can't do that, set up a FaceTime, but really showing you care and say, look, I, I don't necessarily understand what you're going through, but I'm here. And, uh, you know, if you want to seek help, I hope you do that. Um, if you want to see, you know, a general practitioner, I'll help you make the appointment. So just trying to reduce, you know, the, the, the issue or the burden on that individual person. But just having that connection, um, you know, where someone still really believes in you is so important. And I lost hope, but uh, my mother and my father kept hope alive for me, and that made all the difference. Graeme, I have a lot of, um, you know, friends and family still really struggling um, at the moment, um, and you've overcome mm. your demons. Do you still have a daily process you follow? Are there steps you still follow, or have you overcome them completely? And what is your message to people who are in dark times right now? Yeah, well, it, it, it is. My, I have a, a self-care routine. I get up at 5.30, I meditate for 20 minutes, and then I usually exercise um, and then plan my day and do my day. Mm. And, you know, people might not exercise, but think of something that you find really pleasant. It could be playing with a dog. It could be, you know, looking outside of the garden. That makes a really big difference. 
But my big message is, is that, um, and the reason I'm so passionate about this is I, I really believe that I would never, ever get better. Mm. And I have a really good and meaningful life now. And so that would be my message to people, just to, just to take little steps each day. Don't think too far ahead, just the day ahead. And think about how you can include exercise, connect with something, and doing something that you really enjoy. Uh, just try to fit those three things in each day and that will make a difference. Great. Such That's a great. good message. It really is. Thanks so much for sharing your story today, Graeme. I think that's so important, isn't it? To, to listen. Yeah. Like sometimes, not everyone knows what to say, but everyone can listen. Well, to, to hear from someone who, like, we, we push mental health and we mm. push people to, um, you know, try and improve their lifestyle and battle their demons, but to hear someone who has lived it, had dark times, and mm. overcome it, it just gives it so much more merit. So, yeah. uh, great message. That's it. And we have to, have to start helping. Not, it's not one size fits all. Mm. Everyone goes through their own things to their own degrees. But again, as soon as we start listening to each other and helping each other, we're on the right way. You're right, 100%. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's battling their own demons. Everyone, um, you know, everyone's going through dark times. It might not be now, it might be in the future, or, mm. you know, might, may have just overcome it. But, yeah, checking in on that, just checking in on each other. Yeah. A phone call can save a life, and that's his message, so... That's it. And, really important. And, and people do, do save lives every day at Lifeline. Uh, remember, if you need help, Lifeline is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on 13 11 14.